Ever wondered who's ruling the charts of the wealthiest hosts in the Philippines? Who's making the most money? Who's dominating both the stage and the bank account? Stick around as we unveil the financial powerhouses of the Philippine hosting scene. Can you guess who's sitting at the number one spot? These incredible personalities not only light up our screens but also their bank accounts. They aren't just charismatic on screen. They've also mastered the art of turning fame into fortune. So buckle up as we unveil the movers and shakers who've made it big in the hosting game. Grab your popcorn, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the glittering world of Filipino hosting royalty. Starting at top 10, who is this TV host who started as a dancer and gained fame as a member of the dance group Street Boys? It's one of ABCBN's Showtime hosts, Vong Navarro. Vong Navarro is a Filipino actor, comedian, and television host. Born Ferdinand Hippolito Navarro on January 4, 1977, in Sampaloc, Manila, Philippines. He has become a prominent figure in the Philippine entertainment industry. His energetic and charismatic dance performances contributed to the group's popularity, and he soon transitioned into acting and hosting. Navarro has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an entertainer. Some of his notable movies include Mr. Suave 2003, D and Others 2005, and Agent X44 2007. His comedic talent and knack for physical humor have made him a favorite among audiences. One of the significant milestones in Vong Navarro's career is his role as a host on the long-running noontime show It's Showtime. He joined the program when it premiered in 2009 and quickly became one of its main hosts. His witty banter, engaging personality, and camaraderie with co-hosts endeared him to viewers. Its showtime has become a staple in Filipino television, and Navarro's contributions have played a crucial role in its success. His estimated net worth is at $1.5 million. Who is the TV host who became known as the Dub Smash Queen? At top nine is Maine Mendoza, Maine Mendoza first rose to prominence in 2015 when she gained widespread attention for her humorous Dub Smash videos on social media. She eventually caught the eye of the producers of the noontime variety show Eat Bulaga, one of the longest running and most popular television programs in the Philippines. Her big break came when she joined the Juan for All, All for Juan segment of Eat Bulaga, where she played the character Yaya Dub. Aside from her success in the entertainment industry, Maine Mendoza is also recognized for her versatility as a performer. She has ventured into acting, starring in television dramas and films. Maine Mendoza has also been known for her endorsements and commercial deals, making her one of the most sought-after celebrity endorsers in the Philippines. Her charm, wit, and relatability have endeared her to a wide audience. She is now married to Quezon City's first district representative and actor, Arjo Atay. She has an estimated net worth of $3 million. Jumping in at top eight, who is this member of the dance group Street Boys, which was known as the Sample King? It's Jong Hilario. Jong Hilario is a Filipino actor, dancer, and television host, best known for his versatile career in the entertainment industry. Born John Paulo Quayambao Hilario, he has become a prominent figure in Philippine showbiz. His exceptional dancing skills and charismatic stage presence quickly set him apart, leading to numerous opportunities in the entertainment industry. In addition to his success as a dancer, Chong Hilario has made a name for himself as an actor. He has appeared in various television dramas and films, showcasing his acting prowess and versatility. Chong is perhaps most widely recognized for his role as a mainstay judge on the long-running noontime show. It's Showtime. His presence on the show has made him a household name, and he is celebrated for his witty commentary, engaging personality, and humorous interactions with co-hosts and contestants. Chong Hilario's journey from a talented dancer to a multifaceted entertainer and public servant has made him a respected and beloved figure in the Philippines. He has net worth of $5 million. At Top 7, who is one of the hosts of ABCBN's noontime variety show It's Showtime. It's the actress, Kim Chiu. Kim Chiu is a Filipina actress, singer, and television host based in the Philippines who gained prominence after winning the first season of the reality show Pinoy Big Brother, Teen Edition in 2006. Her career in the entertainment industry has flourished over the years, and she has become a well-known figure in Philippine showbiz. While she initially gained fame as an actress, starring in various television dramas and films, Kim has also ventured into hosting. 
Her hosting stints include being part of ABCBN's Noontime Variety Show, its showtime and hosting duties in events and programs. As a TV host, Kim chi has showcased her natural charm, versatility, and ability to connect with the audience. Hosting requires a mix of charisma, quick thinking, and the ability to engage people, and Kim has demonstrated these qualities effectively. In addition to her television career, Kim Chu has also made a name for herself in the music industry with several singles and albums. Her versatility as an entertainer has allowed her to explore various aspects of the entertainment world, making her a multifaceted personality. She has an estimated net worth of $5 million. Now who is this Filipino-Australian actress, model, television host, and producer and is part of the Noontime Variety Show? It's showtime! Top 6 is Ann Curtis. Ann Curtis began her career in the entertainment industry at a young age. She gained popularity through her acting roles in various television dramas and films. Apart from her success in acting, Ann Curtis is also celebrated for her hosting skills. She has been a fixture on Philippine television, showcasing her versatility as a host in a variety of programs. Her engaging and vibrant personality has made her a favorite among audiences. Anne Curtis's hosting style is characterized by her natural and relatable approach. Whether she is conducting interviews, interacting with the audience, or participating in comedic sketches, Anne has a way of connecting with people that endears her to viewers. In addition to her work on television, Anne has also made a mark in the fashion and beauty industry. She is known for her sense of style and has become a style icon for many Filipinos. Outside of her entertainment career, Ann Curtis has been involved in various philanthropic activities. She is known for her advocacy work, including her support for UNICEF as a celebrity advocate for children's rights. Currently, she is believed to have an estimated net worth of $10 million. Who is this comedian who has been a long-time TV host with the iconic TVJ? At top five is Alan Kiel. Alan Kay began his career in the 1980s as a comedian, gaining popularity for his wit, humor, and versatility in various entertainment platforms. He became a fixture in the local comedy scene and eventually transitioned to television. One of his notable early shows was Eat Bulaga, a long-running noontime variety show in the Philippines. Alan Kay joined the program as one of the hosts and his comedic talent and rapport with the audience contributed significantly to the show's success. Beyond his role as a comedian, Alan Kay has also tried his hand at acting and hosting. He became a familiar face on various TV programs, showcasing his versatility as an entertainer. His hosting style is often characterized by his quick wit, spontaneity and ability to connect with the audience. His estimated net worth is at $14 million. Who is this well-known Filipino television host, actor and film producer also known bossing? At top four is Vic Sato. Vic Sato gained popularity as a comedian and television host, particularly for his longtime association with the noontime variety show Eat Bulaga, which premiered in 1979. Eat Bulaga became one of the longest running and most successful television programs in the Philippines, and Vic Sato played a key role in its success. His hosting style is characterized by a unique blend of humor, spontaneity, and charm, making him a favorite among viewers. Sato's comedic timing and ability to connect with the audience contributed significantly to the enduring appeal of Eat Bulaga. Over the years, apart from his success as a TV host, Vic Sato has also made a name for himself in the Philippine film industry. He has been involved in numerous movies, particularly in the comedy genre. Some of his popular films include entries in the Metro Manila Film Festival YF, where he has consistently been a box office draw. Vic Sato is involved in various charitable activities. He has been a supporter of different causes, and his influence extends beyond the entertainment industry. He is believed to have an estimated net worth of $14 million. Now at top three, who is this co-founder and host of the popular variety show Eat Balaga? It's one of the TVJ trio, Joey DeLeon. Joey DeLeon is a well-known Filipino television host, actor, and comedian. He has become an iconic figure in the Philippine entertainment industry. With a career spanning several decades, De Leon has made significant contributions to the world of Philippine television and has gained a massive fan following for his wit, humor, and versatile talents. One of the highlights of Joey DeLeon's career is his long-standing association with the popular noontime variety show, Eat Bulaga. 
which he co-founded with other entertainment legends Tito Sato and Vic Sato in 1979. The show has become a staple in Filipino households and holds the record for being one of the longest-running noontime shows in the world. De Leon's involvement in Eat Bulaga has played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of Philippine television, and his comedic timing and hosting skills have made the show a perennial favorite. His comedic prowess extends beyond hosting, as he is also a talented actor and writer. He has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility in various genres. His humor often reflects the distinct Filipino style, mixing satire, wordplay, and observational comedy. Throughout his career, Joey DeLeon has received several awards and accolades for his contributions to the entertainment industry. His enduring popularity is a testament to his ability to connect with audiences of different generations. Joey DeLeon's legacy goes beyond entertainment, as he has become a cultural icon in the Philippines. He has an estimated net worth of $20 million. Who is this well-known public figure and politician who also is the one-third of TVJ? At top two is Tito Sato. Tito Sato, born Vicente Castelo Sato, is a prominent figure in Philippine show business and politics. Tito Sato gained fame as one-third of the popular showbiz trio Tito, Vic and Joey, alongside his brother Vic Sato and friend Joey De Leon. Together, they formed a formidable team that contributed significantly to the success of the long-running noontime variety show Eat Pulaga. The trio became known for their witty banter, comedy sketches and hosting skills, making them beloved figures in Filipino entertainment. Aside from his success in the entertainment industry, Tito Sato has had a successful political career. He has served in various capacities in the Philippine government. Notably, he has been a member of the Philippine Senate since 1992, representing different provinces over the years. Tito Sato was serving as the Senate President of the Philippines, a position he assumed in 2018. Tito Sato is known for his involvement in various social and political issues. He has been an advocate for the protection of children's rights and has worked on legislation related to this cause. Moreover, he has been involved in efforts to promote and preserve Filipino culture and traditions. Currently, he is estimated to have a net worth of $39 million. Who is this TV host with an estimated net worth of $75 million? It's none other than the uncabogable star, Vice Ganga. Vice Ganda whose real name is Jose Marie Borja Visceral, is a prominent Filipino comedian, television host, actor, and recording artist. Born in Tondo, Manila, Vice Ganda has become one of the most recognizable and influential figures in the entertainment industry in the Philippines. He gained popularity for his witty and irreverent comedic style, often incorporating observational humor, satire, and social commentary into his performances. His rise to fame began through stand-up comedy in various bars and comedy clubs, where he showcased his unique talent and humor. His success in the local comedy scene eventually led to opportunities in television and film. Apart from hosting, Vice Ganda has also made a mark as an actor, starring in various films that showcase his comedic prowess. Some of his notable movies include Pravi Benjamin, This Guy's In Love With You Mare, he has hosted several television shows, including the Noontime Variety Show. It's Showtime on ABCBN, where he became a mainstay. As a host, Vice Ganda is known for his quick wit, spontaneity, and ability to engage with the audience. He has a natural charisma that resonates well with viewers, contributing to the success of the programs he is involved in. The segment, Tawag Nintang Holland showcases his spontaneous and humorous interactions with contestants. Vice Ganda is known for his unfiltered commentary, outrageous outfits, and infectious laughter, making him a standout personality on the show. Vice Ganda is not only celebrated for his entertainment career, but is also admired for his authenticity and advocacy. He is an openly gay figure in the Philippine entertainment industry and has been a vocal supporter of LGBTQ rights. His openness about his personal life and experiences has contributed to breaking down stereotypes and fostering a more inclusive and accepting society. With all these achievements, he is believed to have a net worth of $75 million. Now, before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Who among these hosts surprised you the most with their wealth? Did your favorite host make it to the list? Or were there any unexpected entries?
Thanks for joining us on this captivating journey through the lives of the top 10 richest hosts in the Philippines. From their charismatic on-screen presence to their impressive business ventures, these hosts have truly made a mark in the entertainment industry. As we conclude our countdown, it's clear that their success goes beyond just hosting TV shows. They've diversified their portfolios, ventured into various industries, and continue to inspire many aspiring hosts and entrepreneurs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more engaging content. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the lives of influential individuals. And until next time, keep chasing your dreams and living your best life. This is Top 10 Society TV, signing off for now. Take care and see you in the next video.